Now, last month, Israel observed its Memorial Day for fallen soldiers and victims of terrorism, commemorating and honoring their memory and sacrifice. But what about those Jews in the diaspora who have lost their lives in anti-Semitic motivated attacks, such as, for example, the 11 American Jews gunned down in Pittsburgh's Tree of Life Synagogue in 2018, or the French Jew Sarah Halimi murdered in Paris a year earlier? Does the Jewish state also have an obligation to memorialize those last Jewish lives and how? Well, that issue will be examined by a new national committee established by the Israeli government that will submit its proposal to diaspora affairs and combating anti-Semitism, Amichai Shikli, later this summer. The initiative was spearheaded by the World Zionist Organization, utilizing research done by the Boston-based Ruderman Family Foundation. And joining us now is Shira uh, Ruderman. She is the executive director of the Ruderman Family Foundation. Shira, how did the foundation get involved in this initiative? The foundation, the Ruderman Family Foundation, is working in strengthening the relationship between American Jewry and Israel for the last uh, 15 to 16 years. And in this area of strengthening the relationship, we're constantly looking for opportunities to create a dialogue, to create a partnership, to get to know each other more and better, to understand where we have uh, opportunities to be united as the Jewish people. And in these lenses, because we work in Israel and in the U.S. at the same time, our operation is on both uh, sides of the ocean, we have the ability to understand and see where are the opportunities and where are the challenges. And a year and a half ago, uh, while we um, were searching for these initiatives that can create the unity or create a common area or can create a legacy, we came about the idea that Memorial Day, the Israeli Memorial Day, is not as recognized or celebrated enough in American Jewry uh, outside of the Israeli community. We also learned that there are many, many anti-Semitic events over the years and Jews that died in anti-Semitic events. And maybe this can be an opportunity to bring the two communities together as one people. And this is how this idea came about. And Shira, as I mentioned, Diaspora Affairs Minister Amichai Chikli has appointed a committee to examine ways for diaspora Jewish victims of anti-Semitic attacks to be included in Israel's Memorial Day for its fallen soldiers and terror victims. What recommendations or steps would you like to see it take? So you said it right to say that such an initiative has to have the support and the leadership of a government entity. And in this case, the Minister of Diaspora is the one that led the effort within passing the, the regulation and the idea within the government, because we as an outside entity cannot do that. We did the groundwork with the World uh, Zionist Organization to do the diligence. The roadmap is the rudiment roadmap to show what can be done, how it can be done, what is the process. We interviewed tens of people holding different positions to see where American jury and different stakeholders in the Israeli society can bring it together and minimize either tension or disagreement. One of the recommendations is to put a committee together of professional people that will decide by what category uh, one a person can get recognized or not. From what timeline are we talking from the establishment of the state? What type of um, anti-Semitic events? That's not a simple decision to make. Therefore, a professional committee has to do that, number one. Number two, we're talking about recognition. We're talking about ceremonial recognition and awareness. We are not talking about Israel taking ownership and supporting financial uh, the families outside of Israel if you're not an Israeli citizen. And that category is allowing us to start and mold the principles, and hopefully by September 1st, we'll have recommendations by the committee. So to be clear, financial compensation would remain just for Israeli families of fallen soldiers or terror victims. Yes, compensation is uh, something that just Israeli citizens can get, and that's not what we recommending or the committee is going to necessarily uh, recommend on. However, 
joint ceremony, memorial, a physical memorial place to have the names and the uh, official recognition of Jews that died in anti-Semitic event, to do something within the U.S. together with Israel. Yes, many, many opportunities are on the table, and that will take a few months to figure out what's the best way to go about it. All right, Shira Rudiman, thank you for joining us.